what's that song? What's that song? Qual est, qual est that? I don't know, bruv. It was so like just, just. Gee! You know what I'm saying? You had a nice yeah, yeah, reggaeton, a reggaeton night. It was sick. She went round with the camera, told a smile for the camera. I went blow with the camera, and she got wows with the glamour. Yeah, you and your free friends, come link with us for the weekend. Them man pre us, we don't pre them. Come and stop the rain, come and stop the rain. Hey, come and stop the rain. Hey, come and stop the rain. Hey, come and stop the rain. Comments below on a Monday. Yes, despite the fact that we filmed on a Sunday. These in, bro. The Premier League is back. Shit was lit. Amazing. What a wild, wild weekend. Obviously, this is a show where we leave the comments below and then we talk about football, soccer, leather patches on a ball in a field, right? Yeah, and there's people. And you guys leave comments. And then last week, you just before we go into the football, Calvin Huang, the poet just pulled out toilet paper out of his ass to wipe his nose around my tripping. I'm afraid you're not tripping. There's no wow. need for you to tie your laces. The fact that poet and bridge predicts shit and actually happens can only mean one thing. Hashtag Illuminati. Lewis Hutchinson yeah. having two comments but I feel better than not having austerity measures. I like that. Can you leave what having two comments below is as good as? <laughs> Hashtag comments below. Peachy429, poet's laugh could make anyone smile. And that's really nice. I don't think you're ready for also, this Also, have a nice tea jumpers and a t-shirt is available until Tuesday midnight. If you miss out, you miss out forever. So yeah, do click on the link below for that as well. Have a nice dot world. My accountant sorted them out. Got me one. Well, I got you one. I was yeah, going like, to send me your address. I'll just send you. Like, well, we can do both. Right. Have a nice, and then you're going so to go on the wall. And you've got to send a photo, and then you can go on the wall. Serious? Have a nice dot world. Oh, mate. Football, football, football. Chelsea 2, Manchester United wild. 2. Coming here from Jeremy wild, Grant. Wild so thoughts. Chelsea 2, Man United 4. Poet Vooge thoughts. Wild Did the referee rob Man United by adding six minutes without having a valuable reason? Mm. Mm. What a guy to a man like Chelsea's assistant coach for celebrating in front of Mourinho. We need that celebration on Fortnite. Yeah, that was, was lit. I hope United fire Mourinho and hire Wenger. It'd be hilarious. That would Laugh be hilarious. Laugh my ass off. Yes, he's thinking Bayern Munich though. What a game though, isn't it? It is hard of fucking everything. But what did we say? Mourinho won't lose that. Like even even though, though it was the 97th minute, whenever this was. Yeah. We knew he was. We knew. I just I could have put my whole house or flat on. That being a draw. Do you know what's so crazy as well? You just knew it would, you knew it was going to be a draw. Why is Mourinho just like, I'm not losing to you, man? Like, he just was never losing. He wasn't, was he? Even at 1 0 and they look mad dominant. They did. I was like, they're, they're not, not losing. losing. Shout out, obviously, uh, Martial. Martial. Oh, Bro, what a Second finish, finish banging. But let's talk a bit about the, about the kind of the highlights. Let's go game first and then fisticuffs at the end. Well, we can talk moment by moment because obviously. God, give us the moments. Well, I would say the first moment for, for Chelsea is Paul Pogba. It looks like blaming mm. Lindelof for a mistake which like, looks like... <laughs> <laughs> but it was really, really his fault. Like, that was just fully his fault. Yeah, Rudiger giving them the lead. Come on, Paul, man. And we, but we defend you here. Poor we problem. love you, Paul. PP, we love you, but that was your fault, big man. What do you say to them at half-time for that type of response? Because they were a little bit on the ropes. If Alonso takes it down from that Rudiger pass, it's 100% 2-0. But as you said, for some reason, mm. they weren't losing that game. They just weren't losing. You just knew it. Like Lukaku, he definitely had the size 13 ski boots on. Oh, and jeans. Again, and the jeans on. But he had true religions on today. He had true religions on Right, because they, they got a new true religion. Exactly. Yeah, that's why they got the whole ge- new jean sponsorship. Can you guys tell me why they weren't going to lose? Little f- well, one matter said, guess what? Not only is Jose Mourinho coming back to Chelsea, I'm also coming back to Chelsea and I have no interest in losing. One matter was incredible. Even the way he steals the ball of the Chelsea left back towards the end to pass it over to Rashford, he passed it over to Martial, scored a great goal to make it 2-1. One thing I'll also say, sorry to just change it, me and Vuj did tell you about Chelsea's defence though. It wasn't entirely impressive. No, wasn't. And we also told you about their attack. Lie. If Giroud and Morat are up front, I don't um, see how you can win this um, league. Let's just then wait, let's go to the equaliser. Alonso, fam. You weren't that injured, bro. Oh, for Man United's equaliser. That's lying on the floor. That's poor. He wanted to this get This is out. England. That's right. poor. Well, you're going to have that Despacito shit over here. Fucking hell. That's poor. Get up. Get up, son. On your feet. Long ball. Fucking hell, Mark. Get, get up. up. Mark. Get the fuck up, Mark. It was like it was meant to happen, even the, def- the deflection. And a man just laying there. Just like holding his leg. Hurt. 
and a man just put slots it away. It's the allegedly thing though, isn't it? Because he yeah. might have been very well hurt. We'll never know. Oh, he but wasn't hurt. Man. That's how I feel. I just thought, I feel like he wasn't hurt. We're in a box, bro. This is war. But we can't leave this game about talking Sorry, about bro. the last minute goal from Ross Barkley and then absolute we haven't even gone into the fisticuffs. madness. First of all, Mourinho, I'm sorry. As much as I may dislike some of your antics when you're bad, you see when you're good and you're funny, you are by far my favourite manager in the Premier League. I love him for that shit. The way he Mourinho killed was boy. on some Khabib stuff. Rude boy. He said, what, you're going to celebrate in front of me? Bro, he was ready. He was on They'll it. Fly over that cage. Find McGregor's mum. Everyone. Just to let you know what we're speaking about, the equalising goal, the yes. Chelsea assistant manager running past the and Manchester then United bench, looking, I mean like, looking at Mourinho, <laughs> giving it that, then running back and doing it again. But Mourinho this time said, big man, not here. I built this. Told the Chelsea fans, three. You can cuss me all you want, because they were saying, fuck off, Mourinho. Three. I gave you three titles. It was so mad. All the Chelsea staff run over and apologise to Mourinho straight away because they recognise his powers. No matter what I may think about this man. Yeah. Man, I forate that. Talking points for me is, obviously, the Mourinho fight. Who would win out of him and the assistant manager who looked like he was on this thing? He looked like he was on this thing, but he's one of those guys that just, I reckon, nah, he's too sneaky. Mourinho, 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 Mourinho would have him. But who would win out of all the managers in the Prem? Sorry. He's got really long arms. Oh, those swingers. It's, if, that, if one of the swingers connects... I can just hear, like, connect. stop trying to be God, and then, like, him's arms swinging. Stop trying to be God. He's just... Pep Guardiola looks like he was send man after you. He's not really on this. He's not on it. No, no, no. Jokanovic as well, Fulham, Serbian. How could I forget about he's these got that dark. He's got that kind of, like... Even the Watford manager looks a little bit sneaky, you know? Mm. Guys... Leave a comment. Who would win in What's a fight up, of man? managers? Maybe what did you think about Mourinho? Are United back? <laughs> like, it's just football sick. What a game of football. Yeah, we love good. football. Hashtag we love football soccer. Let's go to the next game. And we have to talk about the Pro Evolution side, Cardiff City, beating Fulham 4-2. It's a Master League game, that second division. It's kind of upsetting because I anticipated Fulham doing much so better this season. I'm and Cardiff City. Bro. Fulham don't have a defence, bro. They have the worst defence in the Prem. They're so bad, bro. I think it's the second highest most goals conceded in the history of the Prem at this point. And I was like this in Cardiff, and now I'm like, well, I guess, you know, you guys have humbled Fulham, so... I'll tell you what, I was this in Cardiff until I saw that man Reed score the second goal. Yeah. You know that genuine happiness yeah. for scoring a Premier League goal? This boy was so happy he didn't know what to do. When he scored, he runs off, he looks into his hands, everyone hugs him. He just can't believe it. You can tell he's quite young, new to the Prem. For that alone, yeah. shout out Cardiff. I like Cardiff. They're a very busy side, but they're going to be relegated in my yeah. eyes. They're pro evolution side. Yeah, I saw you the tweet Master that. League side. Amazing. And um, Costello up front. He looks like Costello. It's Jimenez. But do shout out Jimenez, Espimas, Ivarov. Shout out Yarich, bro. Anyway, guys, one love. Um, leave your comments below about Cardiff and Fulham. Can Cardiff survive? This is like a turning leaf for them. Where is Mitrovic? Nice little assist for Sessegnon, but... Fulham. But if they carry on like this, it's going to be poor. We move on to Manchester City, who are looking absolutely fucking incredible. I mean, I know it's Burnley, whatever, but... And five. they got bumped a bit, though. Did, Did you watch it? it? I didn't see. The build-up to the second goal, I'm not saying that Burnley would have won, but it had an influence on the game, like Joe Hart said afterwards. Sane taken down, all the players stopped, the referee put the whistle to his mouth, only to say, continue. But the players have already Aww, seen the referee do that. Rare. So then they've switched on, but David Silva switched on before everyone. He's crossed the ball in, but the goal he crossed, like I said, was well off the field. But a great finish from Bernardo Silva. Man City probably would have won anyway. They were just, they were so good. And Mares is so good. And company should have got sent off. Oh my God. Company's challenge on Aaron Lennon was full-blown Eric Cantona against the fans in Wimbledon. Big man, he took off his shorts afterwards and you can just see blood tree clean down his leg. It was nasty. And it was in the first 30 seconds. It's mad fam, I can't lie, but Man City have won the league. They have, not it? Liverpool, like I said, have got heart and they make things interesting make and it, it will yeah. be very tight and I don't think it will be clear cut like last season, sorry, but Man City have an elegance, man. Yeah. They're the type of team that even if they lose and they draw, they probably deserve to win. It's going to be tough, but look, Man City sublime. They're like scoring banging goals. They're Dang fucking yeah. all over everyone like a rash. Let's see. You never know. You never know what's going to happen, um, but it is looking very, very good. You know what? A little insert here. Mm -hmm. Man like Timsey. Okay. Doing bits. Um, Copenhagen EFC and Timsey challenged Tango Squad FC. Man like Tango Squad 
in a match in London and check out what went down. Yo, Tango Squad FC, Timsy here from Copper 90. How about a little friendly with my boys in London? Well done, man. Yeah. Timsey's a baller, fam. Timsey's very good. He's got a great free kick. He's an well absolute. done, Tim. Just a quick one on Liverpool. Mm -hmm. One of the most boring games of football. You know when was like you're looking forward to something and you think it's going to be in the fridge, you come home. And it's gone. And your sister's had it or something. You got three points yesterday. It would have been bad if you lost. That bitch is bad. You're right, you're right. It was poor though, because I was watching it. It was poor, but look at the but, positives. No, exactly. No, 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 no. Bro, 100%. Mo Salah scored. Mo Salah scored. No it Firmino. Excellent finish. No, no money. Firmino, no money. No, we did okay. We did okay. We played well. I still don't think I wasn't ever feeling like, oh, we're in danger. Obviously, the best defender in the world, Lovren. Clean sheet, uh, as did Van Dyke. Shout out Liverpool, winning. It was good that we won. That's all that matters. Salah scored. We had, we had a very sloppy game. But as we said before, before Liverpool would have drew that, I lost that. Look at the positives. We're tied top of City. The battle rages on. Come on, you fucking red men. We move on. We move on to Spurs. Aside that, me and Vuj actually predicted not to do that bad despite they signed no players. And me and Vuj might have been right about this as well. Then winning 1-0 away from home against West Ham. I think you predicted that. I wasn't sure about them. Yeah, I was, you know what? Because I was just like, well, even if they haven't improved their side, they've still got a better side than loads of people. But you know what it is, yeah? I know we were talking about like, yeah, so you're going to run away with it. Da, 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 da. If Arsenal win, two points separates five teams. That is mad. Bruv, it's not that, it's not that clear cut. Because City still have to play Man United. Is Mourinho going to really want to lose but the this? This is where it becomes clear cut. Because right now, the reason why Arsenal are not in the conversation, we've played Chelsea, we've played Man City, and guess what? Man got two L's. When I mean, you lot played uh, Manchester City, you got a draw. Yeah, we played all those teams in the path of Arsenal. Who have you lost to? No one. So Man City, I feel like, are going to feel in the same thing. And then they're going to break away from everyone else. Whereas we might beat Chelsea, we might yeah. beat Spurs, we might beat United. We might... If City have a little draw against United coming up soon, maybe a little, a one loss, they have an unlucky game, someone <laughs> gets sent off. This could be a very, very interesting season. I mean, I hope it is. I hope it stays like this towards the end. That'll mm. be beautiful, like four or five points separating five teams. Yeah. I mean, it probably won't, as you said. Something does tell me inside me a little bit that City aren't going to have it that easy. We've only conceded three goals, scored 10 less than City, but. What? You scored, you conceded three goals? Three goals. It's good. Played nine games. And one of them was stupid. Again, we won against Watford, which is childish. But look, it looks good. Le oh, we look good. Is it going to be a tight season? Who's going to win the league? Leave your comments below. Um, as we do take the easy jet um, and fly to Spain and January grants as Real Madrid, I can't believe it. I think we're just going to go for a phase like Barca where they lost Neymar, Javi, great players. But it's just 10 times worse at the moment. Bruv, Lopetegui's side right now, bruv, they are taking L's everywhere, fam. Massively. The alphabet and it only has L's for them right now. The Real Madrid manager should get fired and they should just get Arsene Wenger. Mm. Real Madrid, I know it sounds crazy, Venga, but if you want to do well, organized. you know what it is? Asensio's going to love Arsene Wenger. Yeah. On top of that, he has unlimited funds. You get someone, you need to get a certified legend, Ancelotti. He'll, just he an needs, adult. You need someone who's been in the trenches for years. And gone through pain and suffering. So when they go through any little problems that's real, it'll it's be calm. like, big man, I was at Arsenal. Mm. You know they want to expand their stadium from 100,000 to 105,000? Who does? Barcelona. Spain have got their own rules, fam, but Real Madrid are in a... They're in a sticky toffee, fam. Sticky, bruv. The man have got some good players, and it's just not working out. Everyone thought it was Zidane. Bro. Clearly, it shows that it wasn't just Zidane. The side is ageing. They need some new, fresh, young, explosive talent coming in. Because maybe they've got a little predictable over the years. They have. It's been poor, bruv. Poor from Real Madrid. I haven't actually managed to watch many of their games this season, but now I'm genuinely intrigued to see what the hell is going on, bruv? If I'm Real Madrid manager, next year I come in, I'm signing De Gea. Hazard. I'm signing Hazard. I'm getting the money I don't in, give a I'm going flying... to that tax haven, wherever I'm from, I'm taking that money out, bruv. And I'll aim for Salah as well. I'd have Bale, Asensio, Hazard up front. That might be a little bit mad. I can't lie, or even money. Imagine that. Real Madrid have answers out there. you got money. And they need to spend. You're Madrid. They, have, they didn't spend well enough after Ronaldo went. They are suffering from the breakup of a long-term relationship. And we have a man like Messi doing his thing, but obviously broke his arm, um, fractured arm. Uh, but Barcelona beat Sevilla 4-2. They go top of the La Liga. It was a good chance. It was a test, though, because if Sevilla had won that, drawn, they would have stayed up you know, above yeah. Barcelona. So 
Good for Barca, bruv. They're not giving up, bruv. I think as long as Messi's there, I think similar's going to happen to Barcelona. Serious? Once Messi goes, over. we're going to see a little fall. It makes sense. It only makes sense. Every club goes through transitions, and Real Madrid are going through a transition now because everyone has money. Do you know Real Madrid one time signed a player in 2000 for the same price as Southampton bought their stadium? Hey, hey, ooh, 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 ooh. Borussia Dortmund are one, winning 4 0 yeah. in Germany. Sancho's playing well. Fun. Reese Nelson scored two. taking over Germany again, yeah. like it's 1945 or some shit. And it's the brothers as well. Shout Man, out. them. Brilliant. Sancho, Reese Nelson doing their thing. Over in France, Paris Saint Germain winning 5 0. Mbappe also doing his thing. 11 goals in nine matches. I feel like PSG just win 5 0 all the time now. Yeah. It's just Power League. It's unfair, bro. They're playing Power League against a team that has three players. It's just unfair. The way that they've cheated that league, that's unfair. They've got no real rival, bro. Monaco also losing their first game. It's not. I can't remember funny. who they played, but they lost 2-1. Thierry Henry's first game in charge at Monaco. Yeah, man. I'm really liking football because footballers that I really love are becoming managers now. Yeah, it's just interesting as fuck. We do have a competition, actually. Um, Les Vetements, the football. Fashion, fashion. Fashion football shirts. One Juve, one Man United. Uh, these are like really exclusive. They're actually quite expensive as well. They're made uh, by NSS Sports. Shout out them and click in the link in the description to try and win one. Um, if you're wondering why our energy's low, it's because it's Sunday morning. It's actually Sunday morning we're filming, which is really weird because yeah. like, we never do it on Sunday morning. It actually feels mad. Timsey's not here. Maradona's turned to Pele. Lucy's in the background. We've got Lucy in the back. You right, Lucy? Have you ever heard that voice before? No, you haven't. Hello. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's choking. She's actually She's six, not actually drowning. She's 63 <laughs> if she's from Barking and she just said she's producing today, fam. Yeah. Wow. But anyway, shout out Lucy, shout out Pele. But let's point to the camera and say, What, what a guy! What a guy. Uh Vendi Honra, one man at you were just gonna shit ton of goals, 20 year old Serbian G. What a Wait, guy. Wait, is that the is that the striker that scored the goal to back hill? Yeah. He is. Well he like flicked it kind of thing. That was uh, magician Tony, what a guy Lena Messi helped to build a cancer hospital for kids. Wow. What a guy for Jordan Lashley for doing their first two games. What a guy for Timsey for growing eight foot tall bamboo in his bedroom and being able to keep it quiet until today. Hmm? What? Timsey grew an eight foot tall bamboo in his bedroom. Eight foot tall is a big ceiling. Is it? Yeah. What, I'm six the- three. Actually, so there's two feet tall. To me, if you jump, you're smacking your head. This is a tall ceiling, bro. Oh, right, 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 right. But anyway, shout out Timsey with the bamboo. Who are we going to give it to? I'm going to give it to Jovic, fam. It's very rare that a Serbian guy scores five goals in a game. He's the youngest um, player ever to score five goals in a Bundesliga. Up there with some absolute greats. So I'm going to point to the camera and say, What a guy. Um, hashtag what a guy for next week as well. As we move on to 2-2. Peter Crouch, as Tom is born, is one of the best films I've seen for a long time. So much so I lent Lady Gaga one of my suits. For some reason, I actually believe Peter Crouch is tweeting this. Yeah, so do I. Because I did see him in a club once. Legit. The Box in London. Google it, fam. Google that club and you'll see what goes on in there. Just updated Jermaine Pennant's Wikipedia page. The Jeremy Carl show one up. <laughs> I have to say, though, a man being on the Jeremy Carl show is one of the worst things that can happen to you. Bro, he played in a Champions League final, 2007. But there was a decline. I mean, he was at Notts County, okay, moved to Bro, Arsenal. Champions League final he played at. He only scored three goals for Liverpool, one of which was an amazing Banging goal, goal in it. Chelsea, yeah. in it. No, but shout out Jermaine Pennant. I just feel like he's a cult legend. Bro, I'd sit down with him and do a piece of him. Yeah, of course. Like a little chat. So yeah, Jermaine Pennant, if you're out there, hashtag, hey, tweet Jermaine Pennant, tell him to come on the show and we'll chat to him, do a little podcast to sign. I think that would be... Hilarious. This is Chris Morning saying Tony Marshall came from France. English press said he had no chance. 50 million down the drain. Oops, Marshall scores again. And the first response from Reese Gibson is we conceded in the 97th minute and you're out here posting this. Sums us up, really. <laughs> I think that was PR tweet. Yeah, PR. PR, but yeah, it's poor. Like, don't overly like celebrate it. You've got the draw. Enjoy it. You're playing quite well, I'd say. Not playing well, but. Fuck it, I respect United now. Guys, have a nice dot world. Available till Tuesday midnight to order. Um, obviously, check out the Vetterman shirts, Bravo yeah, Mourinho, really fucking conspiracy theories. What else are we talk about today? I don't know, um, but I'm going to go. You Paul's going to go shot. poo. She's got the runs. It is a Sunday that we're filming it on. So we didn't talk about the Palace game. Um, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, we'll see you again on Friday. Sorry, fucking, we love you so much. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the comments. I've been seeing the comments. Some real positive shit. Finally get my own show. Fuck poet. Hashtag fuck poet. Pagan guy. Yeah. In the comments, just write. 
Right, fuck Paddle, isn't it? So when he watches it, he'll be like, what? <laughs> it's my show. <laughs> I'm just being an idiot. Guys, we love you. Stay tuned.